In this video, we'll be going over unique paths. So a robot is located at the top left corner of m times n grid mark start in the diagram below. So if the robot's here, the robot can move either down or right at any point in time. The robot is trying to reach the bottom right corner of the grid mark finish in the diagram. How many possible unique paths are there? So we're trying to start from the robot and we'll try to reach here. And if the grid is three times seven, basically three rows and then seven columns, uh, there will be 28 unique paths. Let's, let's go over the thought process. So we are trying to reach from top left corner to bottom right corner. This is the same as going from bottom right corner to top left corner. So instead of we trying to go from here to here, we'll be going from here to here instead. And we are giving three rows and seven columns or M and N. We can start with M and N and then we're trying to reach one and one. Because if this is three here, then this is two, this is one. So we're currently at row one here if you're a start. And the column is going to be, we're trying to reach column one because if this is seven, we have six, five, four, three, two, one. So the moment we hit uh, row one and column one, we have found one possible path. We will be starting from the cell at M, N. Then we will try to find the number of unique paths to the cell 1, 1. We will first implement a brute force recursive approach. In each of the recursive call, we will have two choices. We can either move upward or move leftward. We will want to find the total number of unique paths from both choices. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to implement the recursive approach first. Now we're going to ask ourselves what parameters do we need? It's going to be M, the current row, and N, the current column. Then what's the base case? The base case is when we reach the top left corner to our robot. So if M and N is equal to zero, uh, is equal to one, then we can return. We found one puzzle path, we can return one. If n or n is equal to zero, this means we have went out, we have went out of bound to here or to the to the left side because we're only allowed to move upward. So we can we may hit out of bound to these cells, and if we're only moving to the left side, we may get, we may hit out of bound to these cells here. So if M or N is out of bound, we can return zero. We fail to find a path. Then in each of the recursive call, we will recursively find the number of paths, paths one, if we move leftward. Now if we move leftward, that means our column is decreasing. So it's gonna column minus one. Then recursively find the number of paths if we move upward. If we move upward, that means our row is decremented, is decremented by one. Then we, we can return the total number of paths going leftward and the total number of paths going upward. And that's our result. Let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to O of 2 to the M plus N, where M and N are the input values. And this is because each recursive call, we have two choices. We have two choices and a depth of M plus N. Our space complexity is also equal to O of M plus N. This is because of the recursive call stack memory. So we have recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So let's first go over the base case. So M is equal to one. 
and n is equal to 1, then we can return 1. We have found one possible path on, on the top left corner. If m is equal to 0 or n is equal to 0, then we have went out of bounds, so we return 0. We have failed to find a path. Then we're going to find the number of unique paths going leftward plus the number of unique paths going upward. This approach is not efficient enough and will result in TOE ever. In the, in the next video, we'll be going over the memorization approach that will optimize the brute force recursive approach. So this solution is not efficient enough and will result in TOE error, but we will optimize this using memorization in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass a technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.